on the what could we potentially see the see that surprises people yes come high on. Load, yeah, let's go <laughs> so the high loaded silicon anode typically in a battery you have those shelves like elon was talking about and those shelves shelves fill up with lithium on the cathode and anode well that process is it generates a lot of resistance and uh, from the perspective of, of an atom these shelves are like kilometers deep. It takes a while to travel in and out because the atom is so small and the structure is so big. Well, then you have silicon where not only are these silicon particles smaller, but it's 3D. So you can, um, those lithium ions can attach to that silicon particle and be stored as part of, of the silicon crystal um, in a three-dimensional manner. So there's a lot more access for the ions. And on top of that, the silicon allows for a thinner anode because it's much more energy dense. So there's a, whole, a lot more surface area to the amount of volume in that anode. Basically what I'm saying is you can get ions in and out of that high loaded silicon anode much more quickly than you can out of a typical anode. Well, that is what governs your charge rate. And I think that's what Drew was saying at the earnings call when he was saying, well, the the limiting factor for charge rates is that actually lithium plating well here's a potential solution is your high loaded silicon anode so i've looked at comparable batteries with those types of silicon loadings and there's a complexity but i'll get to the complexity in a moment you, you'd be able to fast charge probably twice as fast as you can with a current tesla battery cell for the first 80 percent the first 80 percent that's when the uh the silicon is absorbing all that lithium and then the last 20 percent that's when it goes okay we're going to start intercalating into those graphite structures now so you kind of have a tiered approach where your charge rate goes boop boop do you have any questions because i'm throwing a lot at you this is highly no i love it stuff. i was going to ask you i was like ions da, da, da. are you talking about v4 supercharging i think he's going to talk about v that's what oh, mentioned. Yeah. so i'm oh. like okay they could have a new super i already think the supercharging v3 is like fast enough but hmm. uh i anyway I, that's so that's so cool keep going i think that's what they're planning for i think like if you can double the charge rate you're looking at a 4c charge rate which is you know like a 15 minute charge rate and this might matter and, more for the uh, the semi truck. Sorry to cut you off, but that, that yeah. now I'm just clicking in my head. Like, okay, who cares about charging vehicles faster? We what we really need this tech for is that 4680 with high nickel in the semi truck. That's when we're going to be really juicing it with the charge. Yeah, and and that's what I was going to say. And that people have asked me in the past about charge rates. Oh, the batteries. Don't focus on the batteries in terms of the charge rate. You should really focus on the the charger, um, because. Say you uh, you have a battery that can accept a charge rate in a minute, which we're not going to get. Let me be clear. We're not going to get a battery that charges in a minute. Um, but uh, in order to support a one minute charge rate, you'd need, oh, let's see here, like 4,200 uh, kilowatts of power in order to, uh, to, to charge a battery that quickly for like a, a Model Y or something like that. So um, you need to have the charging infrastructure there in order to take advantage of the high charge rate for the batteries. So yeah, I think these two things go hand in hand. Now, to be clear, I do think, as I said earlier, that the high loaded silicon anode is the thing the Tesla is probably the most likely gonna have issues with when rolling out these 4680 cells. The way that they can deal with that is they can slowly increase the amount of silicon in the battery. They, they, they don't have to just jump into like a 20 or 30% silicon loading, they can go, all right, currently I think they're at about 5%, maybe they'll, hey, they'll go up to 10% and then 15% and then 20. They could slowly roll that out in order to protect themselves. Because as you were saying earlier, there is a risk with all these things that they're doing at once. And I'm sure that they have mechanisms in the place, in place in the background in order to make sure they don't have um, a Samsung moment where they have batteries going up in flames. Uh, the, there's ways to get around that um, uh, to accelerate the, the progress of change while maintaining safety. Yeah, and, and the word that I kept thinking of when you were talking there is the mega chargers, because that's something I've been like, okay, your charging dictates, you know, the semi truck's fine, but it's useless if we don't have this mega charger network. And so that is what I was always curious. And I remember like even in 2018 Q1 call when I asked Elon, like, is the semi of new battery tech or what? He's like, well, we could do it with the current tech, but 
And he doesn't say there's going to be new tech, but there is. And then you hear JB and it's like, well, we haven't even thought about the mega chargers. And it's like, so I'm really, the more and more I've thought about this semi truck and, and it's like, is it as much about batteries or is it much about which mega chargers they're building and how many spots those have? Like those are the kind of clues and you just, that insight you gave just spot. So I'm really, I'm, I'm waiting for the, the, you know, that article first mega charger location coming under construction. Um, and then that'll probably, maybe that'll have some of this new V4 4680 charger, you know, secret sauce. Yeah. Um, and I think the mega charger, what they're talking about is clearly something that's capable of over a thousand uh, kilowatt uh, charge rate. <clears throat> Even if they use their current chemistry for the semi, I think that the charge rate would be just fine. I don't think that they need the fast chargeability um, because so, <laughs> so that's a huge amount of power. Say, say if you want a semi to charge with uh, a one megawatt hour pack and you want it to charge in uh, 30 minutes, you would need uh, 200, uh, a 2000 kilowatt charger. So they really need uh, some massive charging in infrastructure to even support a normal battery. Now, in order to support the fast charging capability for a semi, you'd be looking at, I don't know, five to 10,000 kilowatts of power or five to 10 megawatts of, hour, uh, of power basically, which is a small power plant just to charge a semi battery. <laughs>